Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Ranking. Before we get into our show, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Grammarly. As CEO of Jubilee Media, I have to do a lot of writing, and Grammarly is an amazing digital writing assistant. The Grammarly browser extension is super simple to download. Just go to grammarly.com and click install now. That's it. The free version of Grammarly has basic grammar and spelling suggestions, but upgrading to premium is totally worth it. And here's why. Grammarly helps make vocabulary suggestions to make your writing more exciting and effective. It also makes clarity suggestions so you can make your writing more concise. Finally, Grammarly helps you with the tone of your writing and provides a little feedback on whether or not your writing sounds professional. Go to grammarly.com slash jubilee to sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium today. Again, that's grammarly.com slash jubilee. Now enjoy the episode. I wasn't planning to go to college. That wasn't like a goal of mine. My parents were like, well, you should apply to at least one college. And I was like, we'll never get in here. And then I went to Yale. like go down and do intros. Yeah, I'm Shade. I'm 24. I work in finance. I have a bachelor's degree. I uh, went to Yale. I'm Tyler. I'm 21. I'm a high school graduate and I work in the Marine Corps. I'm Kaylee. Um, I'm 25. I'm a software developer. I went to Ohio University and I have a bachelor's degree. Maria. I'm 30 years old. I have my PhD in cancer biology and I work in a biotech industry. Grad school I went to University of South Carolina and undergrad I went to University of Florida. Hi everybody, my name is Sean, I'm 27. I'm the director of social media for a company and I also work for a digital ad agency. I got a double major in dance and cultural anthropology. Undergrad I went to Loyola Marymount University. Hi everybody, I'm Ray, I'm 24. I graduated with a bachelor's degree in Harvard recently and I work in consulting. Oh, y'all are babies. I, so I know, <laughs> that's what I'm saying is age oh. a factor. Yeah, yeah it gives you like years of experience. Yeah, like this song. We need a, maybe it's good to identify what intelligence means to everybody. I think intelligence is better defined as your adaptability and your problem solving skills more than it is your education. Obviously like the education, the stuff you've been through puts a lot into playing it because it gives you more resources, more thoughts to draw from. The formal education definitely helps, but I don't think it's in any way essential. So what is the most essential? So the most essential thing would probably be common sense. Yeah, so for me personally, I think intelligence is both EQ, IQ, and that common sense, street smart intelligence, all of that combined. People consciously or unconsciously, when they see someone, form an opinion immediately. Like I'm sure we all did right away. When I saw you, I told myself, Maria, do not judge him just yeah. by his looks. He could be throwing you off or that's just who he is, but he can talk to talk and walk the walk. Sean, I didn't want to judge him based on the way he looks or dresses or acts, so I was like, I think he's intelligent. First impressions, I would put him at the bottom only because when I was in school, all the other people with like the bright neon colors and stuff, they were typically the ones doing worse in classes. If we were ranking confidence, I'd definitely put Sean at very first place. So what is the definition that we're yeah. going with is the biggest question. I like your definition. I know, I was gonna say, I like my definition. <laughs> yeah. It combines everything. Does anyone have any like initial you can be honest. <laughs> Start on that side. Okay. <laughs> I'm done going first. <laughs> I feel like I have a good combination of both, like book smart and street smart. So yeah, I think I have some input on that. There's so many aspects to intelligence. It really goes beyond IQ and EQ. Even those two different factors really don't really capture what it really means to be intelligent. I know I'm not, you know, from Yale, I don't have a PhD, but what I lack in those areas, I'm able to still problem solve and use my own skill set, my emotional intelligence, as well as my social intelligence. Besides my education and background, I feel like I have high like emotional intelligence, like I'm aware of my surroundings. As a software developer, my problem solving skills are obviously top notch, I think I would say. My whole life I've kind of had to fight to be seen as intelligent. I think I'm so used to having to do that as a woman to just like step up and be like, you know, I deserve to be here. My first job out of college, I was working in a law firm. A gentleman came up to me and said, hi, um, you don't look like somebody that would work at a law firm. You look like somebody I'd go on spring break with. And I'm like, what? I'm like, Obviously out of everyone here, I've got the least formal education. I consider myself intelligent. My mental dedication and my ability to adapt and 
to problem solve. What I do in the Marine Corps, I'm a seabird defense specialist. So I think that by virtue of what I do, that already requires some amount of intelligence. Sorry, quick question. So do you think that only certain people can do your job or do you think anyone can do your job? Only certain people. Uh, you have to take the ASVAB before you go into the military. That's uh, not really how much you know, but how well you can learn information. And I got a 94 on that. It's not an amount of how much you study, how much you know. You're not gonna really get better at learning. Does that make sense? I strongly disagree with you don't get better at learning. The idea that you can get better at learning is a pretty big signifier of intelligence. I'm very much dyslexic. I have ADHD and I'm on the autism spectrum. Dyslexia means that there's a big gap in comprehension. So I was scoring 99th percentile in certain areas and like third percentile in others. I'll never be able to learn another language. I took Spanish for 12 years and I can still basically only order a burrito. So I have a question. Why did you go to Yale and why did you go to Harvard? My parents are immigrants from China and I'm a first generation immigrant as well and college student as well. My family always really stressed the importance of formal education. For me, that was something that I really strive for. I wasn't planning to go to college. I didn't, that wasn't like a goal of mine. My parents were like, well, you should apply to at least one college. And I was like, I'll never get in here. And then I went to Yale. Why don't you guys rank each other from one to six, including yourself? and give reasons why you want to do what you're doing. I gotta go one. No. Oh yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. I would rank you as a six, not meaning that you're not intelligent. I also think that I don't place a lot of value on the military. <laughs> <laughs> Period. No, that, yeah, full stop, full stop. <laughs> I'd probably do one, two, three, four, Five, six, I'm sorry. I'm the villain this episode. <laughs> Does anyone think they're like at either end of the spectrum? I'd say I'm one, if nothing else, because I know what I'm about and I'm sure of that. Wait, you guys have to rank everyone too. That is so unfair. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would say one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I think one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. I'm sorry. It's hard for me to look past the education part. Going to college, I think you learn a lot, if nothing else, emotionally. But I still think you're smart. Oh, thank you. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, immigrant parents, first generation going to college, humble, modest. Two, me, I don't know, PhD, cancer <laughs> biology oh. scientist. Oh, I work in a biotech company. We make COVID-19 testing kits, oh, stuff like that. Oh. And then six, it has nothing to do with your background. I don't think you really have the highest EQ out of all of us. Tyler, he ranked last for me personally because the way he carries himself, he was ranking intelligence based on his point of view and not taking in other people's point of views and compiling results, but really just came down to his body language, his demeanor, the way he carried himself, the way he acted towards the group. I would put one, two, three, four, five, and out six. So the reason why I put you at number one is I think you have the highest, not only EQ score out of everybody, but the way you present yourself, as well as being a PhD student, I think is just like a huge thing. And then I put myself six because I feel like I might be the weakest in terms of actual IQ score. Hopefully I can make it up in everything else. So I did put myself as least intelligent. However, if it can't be me, I definitely think Tyler, unfortunately, his way of thinking is linear. And I think intelligence is almost like a sphere. It's a picture. And right now he's only coloring with one color than, you know, with the rainbow. So who got the most number ones? Thank you. Move down. Who got the most? Shade was, was pretty like, up you. there too. I feel like you were definitely three, right? Yeah. I'm mean, between you were Harvard four. and Yale. <laughs> I think that I sort of expected to be ranked a little bit lower. At first glance and first interaction with me, it's hard to tell how intelligent I am. It's hard to tell how intelligent anybody is. Is anyone <laughs> upset with where they're standing? I think it makes sense that I'm down here. Like the guy who graduated from high school and then joined the military, he probably wouldn't be like high up on there. If I was in their shoes, I definitely would have also ranked myself among the lowest. I do feel like there might be a prejudice acting in terms of ranking you. Okay, I was thinking that highly. Too. Oh. But I, I agree with the ranking. I think you probably are 
the most intelligent out of all of us, I would feel weird placing you there and not acknowledging the dynamics in which we did so. Hearing that I had to take an IQ test was definitely hard to hear. Quantifying things for me in that realm is really hard because it gives you something really solid. Even if you don't buy into IQ tests, it still gives you a number at the end of the day, which is something you have to grapple with. I literally thought when you said to open the computer or we're gonna look at social media, that I didn't think an IQ test would be part of it. It was kind of expected. We're being ranked by intelligence, you know, an IQ test. It's not that far off the realm of possibility. So number one is Raymond. Number two would be Kaylee. Number three will be Tyler. And number four would be Shada. Number five is Sean and number six is Maria. I think an IQ test tests something. I don't think it's intelligence. It's definitely testing something. IQ tests are now known to be flawed and like based on incorrect sample sizes. I have really severe dyslexia. There's two questions on that test that I automatically basically can't answer. I'm sure if you studied for an IQ test, you would do a lot better. Yeah. IQ tests are just one aspect or one way to measure intelligence. It's really on a spectrum. What constitutes somebody as intelligent. Before this, all I knew about IQ tests is that they existed, and the I stands for intelligence. I've never looked into IQ tests before. Coming here today, them saying the EQ, that was the first time I've ever heard that term in my life. Coming back to intelligence, it's not just your IQ, it's your EQ, it's your common sense, it's street smarts. Sure, it is some type of metric, similar to an SAT and ACT score is a metric for getting into college, but there's more to that person than that test. I'm actually excited I wasn't last, because I thought I was gonna be last, not gonna lie. I think an IQ test is a good indicator to see how people handle pressure, but I think that's easier to make sense in our heads that, oh, you're smart and you're not smart. Definitely don't think it's the best metric. I've been exposed to tests like these probably more than most people here. That already gives me an unfair advantage. This is my villain redemption arc and climbing up the ladder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>